are sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, folks, Pi Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can install and sort of use uh, the Fritzen app here. Now, I just started using this app a few days ago, this application software, and it, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's been out, obviously, for a good while. People use it a good bit, uh, but I never really got into it until recently. So anyway... We'll go to the following website, click on download. Now, this is a paid software. Now, there might be a free version somewhere, but we're not going to worry about that. If you want to go that route, that's fun. But you can just click on this here. Pay and download. They'll send you uh, an email. You just sign in through PayPal. And once it's downloaded... You will get uh, a URL where you can uh, click on it and download the uh, software. So here we are. We have it. <clears throat> and we're just going to go ahead and uh, install this. Click next. We'll just let it all users install all right so now it's installed so we'll just let that click and click on finish we can close it now there's a lot of parts that uh, we'll need and you can download or whatnot uh, I made a pay made a page on my website and added some starting to add some URLs to it where you can download parts for it. Uh, so now that we're we got this up and running, we'll just click on breadboard for example, and we can come up here to search, and we can search something out here. And see, so right there is the pi zero. So we can just click on it, drag it, and there we go. We have it here. Now, obviously, the uh, pi zero is not really meant for a breadboard like this, but we can rotate it, click on it, move it around. Now let's add something else here. Let's just add a switch, for example. Let's get this guy here. Now it might take a little bit the first time because it's <clears throat> setting up and installing some different things. All right, we'll just use this one for the purpose of this video but as you can see here let me zoom in a little bit we have some green uh, dots and obviously we got some green dots coming off the uh, pie but we can get rid of that there so anyway <clears throat> if we want to draw a line a wire from here to say this pin up here, let me see if I can straighten this up here. I don't know why I turned this around. And I don't want to. Alright, we'll just get rid of it. So, here we go. So let's say we want to draw a wire from here to there. So we could just hold down, drag, and we could just go right here. And now you're going to say, well, this ain't the way I wanted to do it. So what we could do is we could just click on the wire there. And as you can see, it's highlighted. Then we could just drag, click and drag. And we can click and drag. 
and there we go. And let's do another one. We can drag it over. Let's go to this guy. <clears throat> so we can drag him up there like that. Drag him up there like that. Make it straight, level. Drag him down. And we can just do something like that. So all you got to do is just click on it and drag it with your mouse there. So now we want to make this wire red. So we'll make sure it's highlighted. Because like this one's not, but now it is. We'll just highlight it, right click, wire collar. We'll change it to red. Click on that guy. Right click. Let's change him to orange. And we can do another one here. Now let's put him over here. And we'll just have him go like such. We'll get fancy with this one. Do something like that. Do something like that. Oop, let me. And if you need to delete a wire, right click on it, delete wire. I just made a mistake here. All right, so we'll let it go like that. <clears throat> So, we can right click, you can add a breakout, if you want, and if you need to back up, we can just undo, undo again, then we can highlight, right click, we can change this one to green, now let's say you want that red wire on top of the green wire. We can right click on it, click on highlight, uh, raise and lower, send the back, and now your red's on top of the green. And now let's say you want the green on top of the uh, orange, you can click on either one, bring the front, and now your green wire's on top of your orange wire. Now let's say you, you're done. You want to save this as a uh, JPEG, we'll go to File, Export as Image, and just click on JPEG, or PNG, <clears throat> or PDF, or SVG, because if you click Save As here, it's going to save it as a, uh, a Fritzen file, which you won't be able to really upload to nothing. So that's pretty the pretty much the basics uh, of using this real quick. Now, obviously, you have your schematic PCB, your code, welcome. But a lot of people mainly use this for just a generic hobby. Myself included, I would use this more than the schematic and stuff like that so hopefully this kind of helps out uh thanks for watching stay tuned for another one